and say hello to our teams around the country. Andrea Brimer is in Aberdeen. Hi, Andrea. Hello, Lorraine. We're all ready for you. We're ready to have a great night here. All over the country, people have been pitching in and raising money, including our STV North team. We're holding a night of comedy to raise funds, and Andrea Brimer is in Aberdeen for us. Hi, Andrea. Hello, Lorraine, and the warmest of welcomes from the Blue Lamp here in Aberdeen, where we do hope it is going to be a night to remember with our comedy night. We're going to be speaking to some of our amazing fundraisers who've been hard at work for the appeal. None more so than one man who really did set himself an extraordinary challenge, adventurer and cyclist Mark Bowman. Now, Mark ran and swam all the way from Aaron to Aberdeen, all in aid of the charity. What an emotional journey there for Mark and we are delighted to have some of the fundraisers who helped him on that journey. Andy, where have you come from and what did you do to Mark's challenge? We're um, from Stonehaven and District Lions Club and we are contributed a fund to, uh, to Mark in our own small way. Nothing massive, but I think what Mark has achieved has been extraordinary and we were delighted to be invited here tonight and we'd like to say thank you to all the people involved and in particular to Mark for the effort he's made in raising money for the children in Scotland. He really did do a fantastic job, didn't he? And Fiona, where are you from and what did you do? So hi, I'm from Insights and we uh, raised about £9,000 and we ran with Mark on his final day from Edsel right through to Aberdeen and we just had the most amazing day and he was such an inspiration. That is amazing. Well, we do have the grand total of the cheque which Mark raised. I can tell you it is an amazing £96,712.72. Amazing. I know Mark will be delighted with that. Well, uh, from one incredible man to another, our very own Chris Harvey, who took part for the second year in a running in your very own Harvathon in conjunction with Original 106 FM. Tell us all about that. Oh, Andrea, it was, well, I have to say, reluctant almost this year because I knew it was so tough last year it was even tougher this year and you were DJing from what time to when I DJed from Monday morning this week at 8 o'clock until Tuesday morning at eight, about 8 30. Amazing Chris and now Martin we know what uh, Chris is like we can very uh, seldom get a word in edgewise how was he? He has been described as motormouth he was described as that last year and he didn't let us down he was brilliant he, he took on the challenge and I was amazed at how remarkably fresh he was throughout the whole thing but uh, full marks go to the original 106 listeners who raised an amazing amount of money. Yes how much and they have raised 6,300 amazing Lorraine, it's just been incredible here in Aberdeen. We're back shortly with plenty more checks for you. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Fantastic. And well done, Chris. Doing a bit of stand-up comedy later as well, he is. Looking forward to that. How things are in the North East. Andrea is in Aberdeen for us. Hi, Andrea. Hi there. Welcome back, yes, to Aberdeen. We're just waiting for our first comedian to come on stage here at the comedy night. And then it's our very own Chris Harvey's turn, and we're all quite nervous for him. But they do look like quite a friendly crowd, so hopefully they'll be OK. But we've got more checks for you. That's the great news. DJ, you kick us off. What did you do and how much have you raised? I took part in the first ever Pedal for Scotland event along the city's Beach Boulevard in Aberdeen. And despite it blowing an absolute hooli, one of the worst days of the year, scores of families turned out to take part. And it was a really inspiring event. I got into a bit of difficulty. My stabilizers broke about halfway through, but I did manage to finish. <laughs> Good for you. I like to see that tenacity. And I bet you Norman McLeod took part too. Norman did take part and he was sponsored by Factory Direct Kitchens and Bathrooms from Inveruri to the tune of £900, so a huge thank you to them. Absolutely, and £900, that's great. Now, my challenge, which I have to say was probably the best one that I've ever done, was a 24-hour, no, it wasn't, it was a 12-hour dance marathon. It felt like it at times, I have to say. And here are the stars of our show, because these are some of our dancers. Kids, did you enjoy yourselves? Yes! <laughs> and what was your favourite class, because we did a lot of them? Definitely the Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style, now that's handy because we do have the teacher for our Gangnam Style class, that's Grant. How did you find it, Grant? Fantastic, Andrea. When I saw the 120 kids I had to teach, I was terrified, but best day, it was the best day ever. Best day ever, loved it. And they managed to actually get the moves, didn't they? They, they were fantastic. I was like, these kids are not going to get these moves, they're too difficult, but they, they're underdogs. Fantastic. 
Now, Stephen, you are these kids' teacher. You brought them all the way down from Fraserburgh. You must be really proud of them because they were amazing on the day. I'm extremely proud of what this lot achieved. They all ranged from 5 to 17. We took 79 through them from Fraserburgh and they did a fantastic job. It an excellent day. Excellent. Well, how much did you raise in total, guys? 4,000. £446, that's amazing. Well done, everybody. And I have to say, I had the pleasure of dancing with the hilarious Bruce Devlin. Bruce, when you're down there tonight, uh, I hope you're showing them your flash dance moves that you learned. Anyway, our final check for tonight is Aberdeen's, Aberdeen Shire's provost, or should we say Wonder Woman, Jill Webster. Now, what did you do for you recently? I, I did the provost's challenge, which consisted of abseiling and gorge walking in Royal Deeside in Aberdeenshire. Now we can see the pictures, Jill. It looks absolutely terrifying and quite freezing. It was very scary and it was also very cold. It wasn't the best of weather that day, but um, I was ably assisted by Mike of uh, Adventure um, first and he was fantastic, so I was quite confident with him. But it was scary. He made me jump off cliffs and do all sorts of very cold things, but I enjoyed it in the end and I, I like the great outdoors, so it was very successful. I'm delighted I got so much sponsorship from all sorts of people in Aberdeen. That's fantastic. You raised almost four and a half thousand pounds. You're such a great, great sport. Thank you for that. But then we're back here in about another hour with even more checks for you. Oh, Andrea, thank you. That's absolutely brilliant. I think all of our politicians should uh, follow suit and do that. I'd like to see them getting all wet. Time we caught up with fun in the Granite City. Andrea, I know that this is a, a laugh and a comic night. How is it going? Are you all are you all belly laughing? It is just going down a storm lately, actually. We are having a brilliant night. The comedians are really going down brilliantly. And I have to say, so too did our very own Chris Harvey. We're so relieved about that. Here's a little clip of him in action earlier. I'll, I'll be honest. When people spot you in Aberdeen, and uh, you'd like to think they would come up and say something nice about the work you're doing. Do they? No, they do not. Nobody has ever come up to me and said, Chris, really love the work you were doing. People come up to you and they say, Are you the guy off the news? <laughs> and I say, excuse me? Are you the guy off the news? And I say, I, yes, sometimes. I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> People mostly come up to me and say, I am disappointed you are not Sean Batty. <laughs> it's as if... They had one chance at meeting a Scottish person off the news, and I have ruined it for them. He did brilliantly, did he not? A tumbleweed moment in the house. Now, as you've organised tonight, how do you think it's gone down? Oh my God, it's gone so well. Like, um, we're so like, we're so lucky that the local businesses have been behind it. You guys, STV, have been behind it. You know, all the comedians. Just really good, you know. And we you could have filled the place many times over. I tell you what, we could have filled out the AACC for this, but we chose to go comedy club because this is where comedy should be. Brilliant. Local. Nice, thank you so much. Okay, let's get some checks for you. Andy, you've come from STV. You've got a fantastic check there for. Uh, we've got it for the Scottish Home Show 2013. We held a raffle on the corporate night and our first prize was tickets to Britain's Got Talent 2014. Brilliant, and you have raised £870. Yes. Great, thank you very much, guys. And, um, and uh, Kerry, you've come from Citrus Mix PR and it's all about food with you guys. What did you do? We had a paella party fundraiser in July. And you have raised... We have raised £420. Magic. And on a personal note, my neighbour up the road uh, was celebrating his golden wedding anniversary, didn't want presents instead, has donated £40 to the appeal. And it's just been lovely. There's been so many stories of generosity. Thanks very much for having us uh, up here in Aberdeen. We're having a great night. Good luck with your big total. Oh, thank you, Andrea. That's brilliant. And well done to Chris as well. That could be a new career for him as a, as a comedian. Now